If you're designing high-end storage devices or SSDs, then having access to a lightning-fast NVMe solution is probably important to you. I'm here with Richard Chen of EpoStar to talk about a high-performance, low-latency NVMe IP solution that can achieve this kind of performance. Our DesignWare Endpoint Controller IP for PCI Express combined with EpoStar's NVMe controller now interoperate to help you deliver robust and reliable SSDs. Richard, can you tell our audience about the benefits and differentiation that come from this collaboration? Sure. Our intention is to provide the fastest NVMe solution for our mutual customers. To achieve this, we collaborated with Synapsys. They hold the same high product quality standards and bring extensive PCI Express expertise to our combined solution, our NVMe controller IP, and the Synapsys industry-leading designware endpoint controller IP for PCI Express offers flexibility that allows high throughput at full line rates and optimized traffic for highest levels of performance. So let's dive deeper into the benefits of each solution and show our audience how they work together. Our solution greatly reduces an SSD controller's CPU loading because most of the I.O. command handling operations are automatically done within the IP. The result is high throughput without relying on CPU speed. The NVMe controller IP offers flexibility for the main command handling and allows the CPU to intervene in I.O. command handling more if and when desired. So to achieve the high throughput you just described, the Synopsys Designware Endpoint Controller IP for PCI Express operating with minimum latency and over 98% of the achievable bandwidth of a given PCI Express link keeps the EpoStore NVMe logic fed at full line rate. In addition, the NVMe Controller IP maximized the mirrors of the NVMe protocol by supporting out-of-order read data return mm. and read latency reduction by PRP prefetch scheme. That works particularly well with the Synopsys controller IP for PCI Express, which supports up to 4,096 outstanding commands, giving our combined solution the ability to handle most any host system latency and maximize link bandwidth regardless of the packet size. Let me share one more benefit with our users. Our customers can take full advantage of the PCIe full duplexes bandwidth and achieve high throughput because NVMe read data, write data, and commands are executed in parallel in three independent paths within the NVMe controller IP without the need for artificially enforced ordering constraint between them. Yes, and when this is combined with the flexible bridging logic and credit visibility provided by the Synopsys controller IP for PCI Express, the combined solution truly optimizes traffic for the best possible performance. Richard, what did your team think about integrating the NVMe controller logic with the Synopsys controller IP for PCI Express? Uh, we found it very easy to connect our controller logic to the Synopsys interfaces. And our architects particularly liked how they were able to experiment with different PCIe performance parameters right inside your core mm -hmm. consultant environment. This allows us the option to tune each end customer solution and best meet their particular performance and the cost needs. So Richard, let's quickly show the audience what this looks like. Um, let me explain the, our NVMe IP uh, block diagrams. For low latency and the design simplicity, the whole NVMe IP is one single clock domain. And we have a standard X interface to the PCIe side, system bus, and the user logic for easy integration within a common embedded CPU architectures. Uh, as shown on the left side of the uh, block diagram, we have a NVMe layer block it handles NVMe protocol, including NVMe regist, queue application, queue status, command prefetch, and the parsings. And then we have a command manager, which stores the outstanding NVMe command, process command, and reports the command status to the firmware. 
On the right side, we have an application unit. It has an AXI interface to user logic and uh, transfers data between NVMe IP and the user data buffer, which can be SRAM or DDR. And then we have a write channel to receive the IO write data from the PCIe and send it to the APU application unit. Similarly, uh, we have a read channel, which is uh, a DMA engines. It receives the IO read data from the application unit and send it to the PCIe. So on the left-hand side of the diagram, you see the Synopsys controller IP for PCI Express. It fully supports PCI Express 5.0, 4.0, 3.1, 2.1, and one, and includes support for SRIOV, which is really important to many of our customers. You'll notice also on the far left, there's an interface there, the pipe interface, and that supports pipe 441 for most of these applications, or for future applications, we can also support pipe 5.1 down the road when, when PCI Express 5.0 rolls out for these kinds of applications. The solution can include the silicon-proven PCI Express PHY IP from Synopsys, as well as the uh, controller, it supports standard SSD lane configurations from one to four, which are most of the SSD applications, but also for some of the more forward-looking ones, uh, by eight and by 16 lane configurations are also supported. It comes in different bit widths, 32, 64, 128, 256, and even 512 to provide flexibility to achieve timing depending on what your configuration requires. With our Optimized design, we can achieve over 98% link efficiency while providing the lowest latency and smallest footprint. The controller is also built with lots of the low power feature support our customers require, and they can be particularly important for SSDs, including support for all the PCI Express power management states, including L1 substates, various ECNs that have come from the PCI SIG, and support for both clock gating and power gating, which enables us to achieve extremely low standby power. It comes with an AMBA interface in this application, it's the way we talk to the NVMe controller, and it can include embedded DMA as well. We have some interesting features that are great for the storage space, some data protection, both at rest and in flight, which includes parity and ECC protection, and all the RAMs are ECC protected as well. We also include advanced debug, error injection, and statistics capability. This includes error injection into the transmit path, at all layers, one, two, and three, allowing you to test the system response for injected errors. This is great for building a robust system. Also, there's a statistics component, which is a bunch of event collection logs that counts all the interesting events for later analysis by software, both at layers one, two, and three. We invite you to contact Synopsys or Epostar for more information about this collaboration and how to access the fastest NVMe controller IP solution. Thank you for watching. Thank you.